Hello, 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 it's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for popping in and joining me today. Today I have a small little unboxing for you. It is an annual favorite of mine and I am so excited to be able to share it with you. This little box, little square box with these adorable stickers. Happy Halloween. Thank you for supporting our small business and spooky night. Definitely suggest that what's inside must be seasonally related. And indeed it is. This is Bella Art Day Nicole's Spooktacular Mystery, Essential Mystery Box. Here they tell you what you're getting. Like, you know, you are getting a drill tray, small drill tray. You don't know which color. They told you it's one of three. You know you are getting a cover minder, but you don't know which one. So it is a mystery. And having said that, this is your spoiler warning. If you have ordered this box or you are interested in ordering this box and have not yet received it and you want it to be a surprise, stop watching now, okay? That is my fair warning for you. That is your spoiler warning. Otherwise, let's continue. Inside of that box, we had another box, which lists for you everything that was available in the Bella Art Spectacular Essential Mystery Box. And this, again, is the smaller one. So it's one large tray or one small tray, which is what I did get. There's also one kind of Bella book tray, exclusive just to these boxes. There's one wax holder cover minder, two random Halloween cover minders, one trash drill cover minder, also unique to this essential box, one multiplacer, and one funnel. And if you bought it in this setting, you got a 15% discount off from the otherwise purchase price of each of these individual items. So I am super excited. Let's dive right in. Packaged separately was this drill tray. We're gonna wait to open this till the very, very end because um, I think there's a special feature with that one. Bell Art Dana Cole, they release these every year. They do a fantastic job with their laser printing and they recently started doing some resin pieces as well. Oh, here we go. All right, so first, now this is kind of funny. This is your um, wax holder, I assume, based on its size. I'm thinking that this is your wax holder. It could also possibly be my trash drill holder, but it is magnetic. Did they say the wax holder was going to be magnetic? Yes, one wax holder cover minder. So I'm thinking this is probably the wax holder cover minder. What I think is so funny is last year, I also got a coffin wax holder. However, my last year's coffin wax holder, the lid never fit right on the base. So I've never actually used it. So I kind of feel like, hooray, I finally have one that fits so snug and so perfect on here. What I love too about Bella Art Dana Cole is they put their magnet right inside of the plastic. Why do I love this? I only need to worry about one half of the magnet then. That's it. So for storing and such, it just is super convenient. I really appreciate that. And here we have a couple of cute little stickers. Oh, look at these Halloween stickers. We have a very angry eggplant who underwent some kind of belly surgery. <laughs> and we have an adorable jack-o'-lantern filled with candy. Those are so cute. Then here is our straightener. Green sparkle, which if you have been hanging around for a while, you know that green sparkle is like about my favorite thing on the planet. So I'm thrilled with the green sparkle. Our random Halloween cover minders. Here we go. We have a dancing skeleton. Oh, and a Halloween cat. That is so cute. So again, same thing. Your, oh, interesting. I have an extra, my magnet must have pulled off from something else in here. So we're gonna put that aside, but your, you have your magnet inside of here. So it's just one magnet that you need to worry about. You can't really see it as well, obviously with the black, but again, the magnet is stuck in there. I really love that about their design. 
Ah, yes, here we go. I found the item. This is my trash drill cover minder. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at how cute this is. I mean, it's like cute and like creepy with the skull and crossbones. This is so cool. But that is where my stray magnet came from, was from this. So this is indeed my wax holder, which is what I thought. See, it did just like that. <laughs> Working with magnets, you know. Um, and then this is my trash drill holder. It is so cool. This one is borderline. I can't touch it. If you <laughs> seen me before, sometimes the way that this plastic is worked, it just like makes me cringe. This is real borderline. I have this adorable teacup trash drill minder that I have to cover in washi tape. And then it works for me just fine. Fortunately, this one is, it's it's borderline, but I can handle it. And that's good because I love the skull and crossbones. I don't want to have to hide this one. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my. The magnets are very strong, which while it can be somewhat annoying in this particular situation, I assure you that when you are working on a painting, you want a strong magnet. Okay. I'm kind of waiting to get to the more fun aspects. All right. So here we have... A multiplacer. This is supposedly, it looks like an 11 multiplacer. Honestly, I will probably give this a try just to see how it works out. I've never tried any of their multiplacers before. But I am not a large multiplacer person. I usually stick with just a four multiplacer. But I'm going to try it out just to see how it works. So that's the multiplacer. Here is their funnel. This is a shortened version of their funnels that I have received in the past. It works just as well. This is, let's see if I can show you. So like here is an Elizabeth Ward container. You can open it up and your drill, not your drill, your funnel can sit right on the end here. I mean, you're probably still going to want to use a hand to hold it. Um, and everything will just flow right in there nice and smooth so these are just handy tools if you have the tic tac boxes i believe they fit in really well this way so just a really handy little funnel and then this is the super cool piece okay so this is one small tray Bo book o spells isn't that cute and then somehow I don't remember how we do this, guys. How do we do this? I don't remember. Somehow this does come out. I think you just pull it out. Yeah, based on the guidelines on the bottom. And here we go. Look at this adorable tray. Isn't this cute? Um, yeah, it's one of their book trays. And I think it does. I think you're just supposed to slide it in and out. But this is certainly going to hold your drills tight. Here, we'll give it a test run here. Using those same drills. Also very autumn colors here. We'll put a few in there. I'm going to put this in here like this. Oh, guys, this is wonderful. Look at that. These drills, they are in there snug. They are not going anywhere. These are like real books. They hold your drills. Now pulling it out. Okay, that went okay. On the end here, you do have a little guide to help with pouring out the drills. We'll try out our funnel here too, so you can see the whole process. We had one stuck drill and just one drill that flew away. So it works really well and it is so stinking cute. This is adorable. This piece is exclusive to these boxes, this Book of Spells tray. This is exclusive to the boxes and this is exclusive to the boxes, the um, trash drill holder. I think those are the only two exclusive to the boxes. Let me look. Book tray and 
Yes, the trash drill cover minder. So these two are exclusive to the boxes. Finally, let's look at our small drill tray, okay? In here, you have one of their small trays with a lid. And I know you're looking at this going, it's white, which I mean, that's cool. Ghosts and everything, right? With their stopper, their stoppers are fantastic. They fit in there nice and snug. And these lids are also wonderful. They work really, really well. Your drills are very secure in there. But there's a secret with this tray. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you that secret. It is glow in the dark, guys. How cool is that? So there are three different glow in the dark colors. I am going to let this sit under a light for a little bit and I'm going to take it into um, a closet where it's completely dark. I will see if maybe I can get a picture of it to post on here. I'm not sure, but um, I'll do the best I can. Guys, it worked and I got a great picture right here. Orange, I got a glow in the dark orange. I know green was another color. I know they tried for purple, but the purple did not work. It just didn't glow well. And I can't remember what the last color was. Hmm. I can't remember. Um, anyway, it's a surprise. So I love Bell Art Day Nicole. Jamie and Nicole are a couple of wonder wonderful people just trying to run a small business, military family, although he's retiring very, very soon, the end of this month, I believe. They also just recently bought Mary's Diamonds last year and have rebranded into Bella, Bella Art Diamonds. I have done an unboxing of them with a couple of their canvases, diamond painting kits. They are fantastic, guys. It is worth your time to go check out this company. I am going to link to both their Bella Art Day Nicole site, which is mostly diamond painting accessories, but they have other things included like crochet hooks, yarn bowls. Go check it out. They are coming up with new stuff all of the time. And I'm going to link to Bella Art Diamonds as well. So you can see they're gorgeous kits. These are super high quality kits. And free shipping is included in their diamond art kits. Unless you live in the absolute middle of nowhere in the furthest reaches of the planet, then they will ask for a small sum. Like if your shipping's going to be a hundred bucks, you're going to have to pay some of it. But otherwise, shipping's included on Bella Art Diamonds, not Bella Art Day Nicole, um, which is fine. Shipping's pretty minimal because it's small little items. So wonderful, wonderful haul. It just totally puts me in the spirit for autumn. This combined with my cool rainy day here in Michigan, I am thrilled. So thank you so much, Bella Art Day, Nicole. I love your stuff. Love you guys. And everyone go show them some love. Once again, and like I always, always say, please practice kindness. You don't know what someone's going through. You don't know their current life situation. You don't know how their day has been. So just be kind. That little bit of extra patience and kindness will go a very long way. And I hope that you, ooh, <laughs> I hope that you are having a wonderful day.